Hi there, my name is Matt Kemp and I'm here today to talk to you about our music performance and production courses on the Eastbourne campus. We've got a wide range of music performance and production courses here on the Eastbourne campus and we're really fortunate with the spaces that we've got available for you guys whilst you're studying. Just this space here, for example, is one of our recording studios and we've got eight of these for you to use and work with. We've got a wide range of students within the, within the site as well, um, studying at level two, level three, four, five and six. That gives us an amazing community of musicians, producers and engineers for you all to work with and engage with while studying. Our level two and level three music performance and production course really focus on developing your music performance and production skills. What I mean by that is you'll be spending lots of time in our recording studios and performance spaces developing skills using mixing desks, outboard equipment and DAWs like Logic and Pro Tools. In our performance spaces you'll be, you'll be developing skills based around your musical instrument, um, working with live sound, lighting and putting together an amazing show, concert, gig, uh, which will then take out into industry and perform at venues local to Eastbourne and Brighton like Concord 2, the Burley Centre, Winter Gardens, Congress um, and beyond. With regards to work experience and industry placements, we've got lots of connections and links within our network of musicians, producers and engineers for you to try and get some experience either as a gigging musician, a recording artist, an engineer or a producer. We're going to actively encourage you to go and work outside of the classroom, outside of the studio spaces and performance spaces here to get that real world experience. We've got links with local recording studios, local events teams, venues um, for you to go and get that experience and work with. We also are quite proud of our network of alumni and students um, who've, who've gone on to be very successful uh, from their studies here. So we'll really encourage you to perhaps reach out to them, work with them and bring them in to run some specialist seminars and workshops. Um, we, a couple of years ago we had a student um, studying with us um, who um, received an Ivan Novello Award um, for her work with Clean Bandit. Um, so an amazing songwriter who's now doing some uh, amazing work um, all over the world uh, with her production uh, skills that she learned and developed here. So um, we've got lots of, as I say, links with industry and we're really keen to build those connections and get you guys uh, working uh, and ready for, for this kind of really exciting and fast paced industry. I think something that um, you know, I get asked a lot at open events is just about you know, uh, what, what the prospects are like in the music industry, what sort of job can I get from this course. And I'd just like to, to reassure you that it's not all just about you know, what we see in the media, you know, performing on the live stage or looking cool like me um, sitting by a mixing desk at the moment. Um, there are so many other avenues and jobs within the industry and it is a booming industry. Uh, obviously at the moment with COVID, uh, there are some concerns around perhaps the live uh, sector, but actually other sectors within the ent entertainment industry are booming. Um, you know, if you're in the, in the world of uh, building sound cards, designing microphones, uh, those sales have skyrocketed because everyone's at home producing uh, and recording in the home studios. So there are lots of different sectors of, this, of the industry, the wide entertainment industry that this course can lead you to. Another example um, was a, a female vocalist that was with us a couple of years ago. Really concerned at the start of the course that you know the course might not lead her to be the next Adele or, or, or you know big kind of female artist. She's doing really well now, working as a vocal coach, backing vocalist, um, and releasing her own material, all through the skills that she learned and developed while studying with us here um, at East Sussex College in Eastbourne. The way that our courses are broken down in terms of assessment um, is as real world as we can get. We've worked really closely with our awarding body, University of Arts London, or UAL, uh, to design um, and manage our courses so that you get the most practical experience, which will then help you be ready for industry. There are no exams within our music courses at Eastbourne. It's all practically based assessments uh, throughout the year, helping you build a portfolio and achieve your grade within your final major project at the end of the year. Just like you would have in industry, we're kind of preparing you for that final big recording 
or live performance show at the end of each year. In terms of equipment, we do expect students to bring their musical instruments in. Um, we do have some uh, here for you to use, um, but all of our investment in terms of budget really goes into you know, the studio spaces and our performance equipment that's needed um, you know, to help things sound as, as good as possible. Um, so most students will want to bring in their own guitars, basses, etc. Um, but we actively encourage that. Um, obviously some instruments that's a little bit more difficult, uh, so drummers don't panic, you don't need to bring your whole kit in every day, um, but perhaps just breakables, uh, definitely drumsticks. Um, same thing for kind of keyboards, pianos, uh, you know, don't wheel the grand piano in. We've got a couple of uprights here, plenty of keyboards for you to be working on, but certainly basses, guitars, any kind of brass, woodwind, strung instruments, um, absolutely recommend that you bring those in. Um, as you can see behind me, we're really uh, fortunate with, with the, the spec of our, our spaces that we're working in here. Um, this is probably our most high spec uh, studio that we have here. Um, but yeah, as I say, we're really fortunate with the equipment that we've got. Um, just next door today, uh, we've got a live drum session set up and ready to record, where we're using probably within the region of five to six thousand pounds worth of microphones alone. Um, and they are all here for you guys to use experiment with and try. And I think it's really important that you have that equipment at your disposal so that when you go into industry um, you've had that experience and knowledge uh, with that um, kind of high high level of equipment um, and you're not kind of kind of be stressed out nervous or worried about you know being kind of faced or confronted with with kit like this. So in terms of visitors to the department, uh, we're really fortunate. We do have some, some great links with industry. Um, we have a really strong link with quite a famous producer um, who um, does come in and, and run some studio sessions um, and certainly run some conversations and talks um, with students. Um, one of our students that left us a few years ago is now working very closely uh, with this producer um, and um, they kind of share studios now. Um, with, with lots of different project work that they're working on. Um, that producer's worked with some really big artists, currently working with Maxi Jazz um, from Faithless, but has worked with, with Dido um, and various other artists um, across his career. Um, so again, we're really fortunate that we can bring people like that um, into the department. And as I say, we've got a number of students that have gone on um, to be very successful in various bands um, with their solo projects, but also you know, uh, with their technical projects too, in terms of setting up their own studios and workspaces. Um, and as I say, um, I think earlier I was talking about the vocalist that was with us. She's gone on to, to kind of work as a, as a tour manager now, so she really enjoyed the kind of business aspect of organising shows and events. Um, so that's now where she's landed, um, working as a, as, a, as a tour manager alongside her kind of vocal work too. So in terms of trips or visits, we try and at least uh, get all of our students out on at least one trip um, per academic year. Um, typically that's to a, um, a music kind of conference uh, or trade show, just so that um, you can see some of the new equipment that's coming out in industry. Typically that's Plaza in London, um, which is quite a varied show. And again, just shows the, the different avenues that the music industry can take you into. So there's sound, there's lighting there, there's stage effects, there's studios there, but there's also companies like Disney Cruises there who are looking to recruit musicians, uh, backing vocalists, technical crew. Um, so again, lots of different avenues uh, for you to go and explore and, and talk to people about um, while studying with us on the courses. In terms of entry requirements for our courses, um, all students will be invited in for an audition. Um, and interview. That's nothing for you to worry about. It's just an opportunity for us to really get a good idea as to where you're at with your musical skill set, your production skills, and we can actually offer a place based on um, that audition and interview. We're also looking for your GCSE results. So for our level two entry requirements, we're looking at four GCSEs at the grade three or above. And for level three, we're looking at five GCSEs at the grade four or above. And that should include English and or maths. I'm sure you've heard it many times, but getting that English and math sorted whilst you're at school is just going to give you more time to focus on your music studies when you're studying here with us. We'll obviously cater for maths and English in and around your music classes, 
you won't have clashes, you won't be torn between which subject to go to. Another question that we get asked um, during our open events is, does this course cater for, for musicians, producers uh, and, and vocalists? Um, and, and the answer to that is absolutely yes, it does. Um, there are lots of different avenues and streams, as I've mentioned previously um, in, in this uh, presentation, that, that we can go on and, and pursue within this course. But something I'd really like to encourage is, is a few vocalists out there to come and join us. I know sometimes looking at all of this kit can be a little bit daunting, um, but it's, it's there to help you. And if you're looking to pursue a career as a vocalist, if you've got an understanding um, of how this sort of equipment in here works, how it can best work to kind of portray your voice and capture it, that's only going to help you in industry. Um, and for a number of our vocalists that have worked with us in the past, they've then been able to go on and set up their own kind of mini home studios, um, which has helped them not only with their own voice, but to deliver lessons, um, to record themselves, and, and really help promote their material. Another thing that will really work with you on um, is, is, is improving and developing your confidence. That's a massive um, component to being successful. Uh, within the music and entertainment industry is just having that confidence to be proud of what you're doing and, and push your material out there. Um, and, and we've got a really dynamic and professional team um, of, of tutors uh, within our staff group um, who are experts of that. Um, Toby, for example, within our music performance area has, has worked uh, you know, really, really hard uh, with, with some students who've been quite anxious and quite um, you know, lacking confidence when, when starting on the course. Um, and by the end of the course, they're kind of you know, at the front stage at the Concorde 2, um, almost a, a different person. So it's been really quite rewarding um, to see that kind of transformation and that, that build up of confidence um, in musicians, producers and engineers throughout their time here. So my background um, within the music industry actually started here. Um, I studied music performance and production. It's a slightly different course when I did it um, a number of years ago. Um, but this was kind of where I started my, my qualifications, if you like, in music. Prior to that, it was piano lessons, building my own little home studio, um, and, uh, and DJing actually, just playing music for people's kind of weddings and parties. The course here really kind of inspired me to, to get my teeth into production um, and live sound. And that's now what I do alongside my work here um, at the college. Um, I think that's really important that I'm still working in industry so that not only can I um, you know, give students the, the academic kind of syllabus and, and curriculum uh, that's, that's needed to achieve the qualification, but I've still, but I've got that kind of real world experience that I can share with you as to what really happens in industry. Um, and I've got those links, and as I say, that experience to share with you. Um, so I now run my own kind of live sound um, PA hire company um, and work as an engineer within that company too. We're really fortunate that that is kind of shared across the whole course team. So um, other members of the team also are currently practicing in industry alongside their work here. Um, it's, it's rare to find that, um, but again, it's something that we really kind of treasure and students give us lots of positive feedback on that um, when they're talking about the projects that we're designing for students to work on. Um, they are current, they are real world and uh, they prepare students for their next step, whether that's university or actually out into industry in the workplace. When I talk about catering for all musicians, producers and engineers on the courses, I really do mean that. Uh, we've got a number of students who are very much focused on their production skills. Um, they're heavily involved with the production of electronic dance music. Um, so when it comes to the live sound stage, um, rather than perhaps sitting behind a, a traditional drum kit, um, or, or piano or, or singing, um, they're actually on stage with a computer um, and uh, you know a, a drum machine or just a synthesizer uh, that's been programmed. Um, so we, we're really kind of open to um, not just you know kind of what's happened in music um, up until this point, but actually looking at how music's moving forwards. Um, another big part of what we do here is look at promotion. Um, and how you might promote yourself as an artist, as an engineer, a producer, 
and you know a lot of that for us now is based around social media um, so we're very keen to support students um, you know with their um, their own kind of online profile using things like LinkedIn uh, Facebook Instagram uh, but also WordPress WordPress is is, is is central to all of the music students study here um, it's a, a website essentially that we're going to ask you to build and design throughout your time studying and that's what we use to capture all of the evidence of your work um, so not only do we use it uh, to present your work to the awarding body and achieve your grade but you then have that at the end of your course to, to celebrate as your portfolio um, that you can then take out to industry um, onto university and, and document all of that work that you've, you've worked on whilst you're here with us. Thank you so much for joining us today um, and I hope this has been useful for you just to find out a little bit more information about our music performance and production courses. We're really looking forward to welcoming you back onto our site um, and sorry that we've had to just meet with you today via this virtual open event. Yeah, really hope to, to speak to you soon and be working with you in the near future.